There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Franklin D. Roosevelt. That is a great cliche, isn't it? It's a great quote, and it makes a lot of sense intellectually. But there is more meat to that quote than you may realize. I know I found something out today, and I want to share it with you about fear. <sighs> no, don't be afraid. I'm going to tell you how to conquer your fears, understand them, and eliminate them in your acting career, and of course, most importantly, in your life. So stay with me. I went for a walk today and I was enlightened. Every single time I go for a walk, I'm, ideas just come to me. Have you ever had ideas just come to you when you're doing this or you're doing that? Make sure that you take a notepad and put it in your pocket along with a pen. Otherwise, you might lose it. But today, this just came to me. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Now, while that is absolutely true, I want you and I to break this down together, okay? All right, here we go. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. There's a beat there. We have nothing to fear. Beat. Just like in the script. We have nothing to fear. Well, what does that mean? We have nothing to fear. Yeah, but David, I'm unsure about this and I'm afraid of this. And what if this happens? And what if um, I don't make the audition? And what if they don't like me? What if they love me? And I have to embrace that kind of success. I don't know if my family will like it or approve of me. Or my spouse won't. She'll be jealous or he'll be jealous. I don't know. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Now let's take the word it, okay? Take the word self out and think about the word it. So it, and I'm not talking about the clown. I'm talking about it. It is not a self. It's, it does not refer to male or female. It is not an, it's an ent, it's not even an entity. It's an it. It has no, it has no identity. Self does. When you say self, you're talking about self. Myself, yourself, ourselves, correct? Remember that. So think about this. We have nothing but to fear. We have nothing to fear but fear it. So what is it in your life? What is it? What is it that's standing in the way and trying to convince you not to become a great actor, not to make friends with the right kind of people, the right support group, not reconnect with those that you love? What is it? It. And how do you identify what your it is? I'm going to tell you. And I made some notes, so bear with me. Instead of fear the fear, you feel the fear. That's what I said. Because when you fear something, what happens? You hold back. You pull back. And you say, no, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about it. You know, I don't want to do anything to upset her, to upset him. Because you know what? This might happen. And that might happen. You know, I'm not sure what's going to happen, really. You know, Fear puts you in the dark. Fear is of the unknown. So instead of fearing fear, feel fear. Have you ever given anyone a hug? I mean, a real intimate hug. What happens when that happens? I'll tell you. You feel them. You feel them. You hear their breath. You touch them. You understand them. You appreciate them. I've been there. You connect with them. It's the same thing with fear. You feel the fear. Why? So you can identify it. You see, fear runs away when you identify it. Well, David, it, I understand what you're saying intellectually, but it, it makes me scared. It, it just makes me, like, freeze up. Exactly, exactly. And now you have it. Because you know what fear is? You know what fear is? It's physical. It affects your nervous system. That's why Franklin says we have nothing to fear but fear it. There's nothing to fear when we feel fear. There's nothing to fear when we feel fear. We should embrace that feeling and ask, who are you? I know you're an it, and I know that you're not self. You're not myself. You're not him or herself. You're not ourselves. You have no identity. As far as a human being is concerned, you can't hurt me because all you are is a feeling, a feeling of electricity, which comes from the brain. Because when we have a thought, that thought triggers an emotion. The emotion is energy in motion, e-motion, and then it affects our physical body. Now, that's very uncomfortable. If we fear it, let me ask you something. When you're on a roller coaster, which I've been many times, do you fear it? 
Are you terrified of it and yet you do it anyway because you know it's fun? That's because fear, fear and excitement affects your nervous system the very exact same way. This is proven. This is why you get in a roller coaster anyway because you know what? I know this is exciting, but I'm afraid, but I'm excited. And what triggers fear? Once again, it's a thought. Well, I'm not going in that relationship anymore because that hurt me in the past. Not knowing that it might have, not knowing that that could have been healed, that could be better than ever. You don't know until you try again. Because if you don't try again in acting in life, you will embrace that fear even more without identifying it. And that it, that clown of an it, will paralyze you and keep you from growing into your true self. That amazing, wonderful self that God ordained you to become. Remember I mentioned thoughts? Thoughts are triggers. So I have a question for you. There are various thoughts that we think that triggers our nervous system into fear, into believing that there's something to be afraid of. Things like, what if? Or the word try, never and always. I can't. These kind of words oftentimes triggers fear. So here's something you can do. So here's something you can do to reverse it. What if it doesn't work? What if she no longer loves me? What if she does love me? What if he does love me? What if it does work? See what I just did? I took, because I was conscious of, actors need to be conscious of what's going on. People need to be conscious of what's going on to make the right choices. I took what if, and I put it on the positive side. I didn't leave it to trail off into the negative twilight zone of our mind. I can't. You won't. At least that's a choice. Of course you can, but you won't. That's intelligence. That's fortitude. That's responding instead of reacting. <laughs> you can take control over your fears if you embrace them, identify them, find out what the trigger word is, and reverse it. Does that make sense? Oh, she always does that. She'll never, she'll never be. She'll never be all she can be. What if she is all that she can be? What if she excels? What if he excels? What if he has changed? Because like Tony Robbins says, what is wrong is always available. And so is what is right. So you have a choice today. You have faith and you have fear. You can hold on to one and drop the other. Or you can hold on to faith and drop the fear. It's up to you what you want to do. So you are in complete control of your fear. You know how to handle it now. If you need a coach, I may be the one for you. DavidThompsonCoaching.co DavidThompsonCoaching.co Write to me, like, subscribe, and share. And check out my mastermind course, which is down below the little link there. And remember, don't fear it.